My name is Martin Albitu, of the Society of Jesus. You must be the engine. What does that mean? It means pilot. Oh, good, so you'll be able to twist my words in your Portuguese favor. Yes. <laughs> Hey, Blackthorn! J.K. Galloway here, jumping back into Shogun. Episode 2, Season 1. This is called Servants of Two Masters. We'll see. I don't know what that means, but I mean, damn sure an interesting start. No doubt. And I wonder if this is a true story at all. I know it's based on a book. Is the book a true story? <laughs> Doesn't have to be. It's, it's very interesting so far. But yeah, last we left off, we kind of met the main players. Uh, and I will not remember their names right now, except for Blackthorn, because that one's easy for me, because I'm simple and white. But <laughs> where we're at is Japan, uh, the Osaka area, right? They've been doing trading with uh, the Portuguese for a while. I believe it's the Portuguese. Is that right? I think it is. But uh, they, they've kept it a secret, essentially. And apparently a pirate crew caught one of the ships from Portugal and they had the information on the ship about Japan or the Japans as they keep calling it for some reason and they're like all right well we're, we're gonna go take over that whole country because clearly they're simple and small but they have resources and think like, oh buddy you need to uh, that's a bad idea <laughs> like I'm not sure how far along everything is as far as like weaponry because they i think they've said the year they said it was like 1700 or 16 or something like that so there it is guns for sure we haven't seen any yet but they're there i'm pretty sure you know like i'm pretty sure gun did guns exist in 1700 oh man i'm just all turned around plus i don't really know things but it's very interesting there's a bunch of side characters that we need to catch up with obviously especially in japan itself like the leader of, of uh, well, one of the four lords, actually, because the main lord apparently died recently, about a year ago. Uh, a little less than that, maybe. And one of the lords that we're really watching uh, is, you know, the, the most famous char uh, actor, at least, in this show. And that's the, the dude from Mortal Kombat and The Last Samurai, a bunch of other stuff. Awesome, awesome actor. Uh, and this is where my brain is because of how my brain works. Everyone calls him Lord something. And I'll get there. I'll remember it eventually. But right now, all I can think is Lord Nobunaga. Because of a video game called Onimusha. From like the early 2000s. <laughs> I think it was a PS2 launch title. That's where my brain's at. Game ruled though. But anyway, yeah. Let's jump back in and see what's next. Because like, at this point... Uh, the, the leader of the pirates, Blackthorn, Blackburn, it's either Blackburn or Blackthorn, is going to meet with the Lord that we're, that we're getting to know. Because the Lord thinks, for whatever reason, this guy could help his cause, which is basically, he's being held, essentially, in Osaka. Uh, because everyone's trying to take him out. It's, they see him as a threat or someone who would try to usurp everyone else's legitimacy I guess but at the same time I think he has the biggest like the biggest claim to legitimacy as far as bloodlines go I don't know why he thinks this pirate guy could help him though no idea make sure you do a like and subscribe if you haven't always appreciate you if you want to see the full reactions to the episode there will be at patreon patreon.com forward slash jk reacts and every episode we do here on YouTube we give a shout out to one of our patrons this episode Yes. I had a tape, cassette tape, for music, yeah, that was from The Simpsons, and it had so a song called The Bart Man. If you're old like me, you remember. Servants of Two Masters. We'll find out, but yeah, thank you to Bart. Appreciate you supporting the channel. You're awesome. Be cool and sign up like Bart. We'll appreciate you. But anyway, let's jump back into it. Here we go. Oops. 
sack slaughtered and pillaged his way through Manila. It's a real piece of work, that one. Brutal, savage. So I will show this to the Japanese, and he will be hanged for piracy. Torinaga is still president of foreign relations. He's a thorough man. I fear he'll want a complete translation of this journal. Perhaps a bit too complete. Why, what, ooh, what else you got? Too complete. Oh, no, no, no. Tell me what you see. My name is Martin Albitu, of the Society of Jesus. You must be the engine. What does that mean? It means pilot. Oh, good, so you'll be able to twist my words in your Portuguese favor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Japanese word for enemy is teki. Gesture at me and say the word. He will understand. Really? I cannot conceive of being an enemy to you, Lord. Right? Why not? Hmm. Alright. Well played. As long as it was translated properly, which seems that it was. もっと大事に使われてはいかがかの。その遺産者はそれがしには何の値落ちもござらん。お望みとあらば息子に命じて牢にでも放り込んでおきまするが。虎永様がまた虎を呼ぶじゃ。お。お主ではない。ないよ。
My queen is wise and thoughtful. My master asks for you to draw a map of the world. Oh. Thank you. The earth is round. Like a fruit. Uh, Japan is here. My country, England. We came by way of Magellan's Pass. Mm -hmm. We are the first outsiders to use it because the Spanish and the Portuguese kept it secret. It was safer to sail this way because we had to avoid a Portuguese base in Macau. It employs Japanese mercenaries. I'm told you call them Ronin. This is the way Portugal and Spain carved up the new world. Your country falls into the Portuguese half. So it belongs to them. I assure you their arrogance is unbelievable. Please tell him. It's written into legal documents. They claim to any non-Catholic land they discover and to replace its government with Catholic rule. This is a lie. No. He asks what you seek here. To vanquish our common enemies. I think a lot of that was absolutely true. He didn't fucking come out there to... <laughs> he doesn't care about the Catholics. About beating them. He wanted to take over Japan. Like, mm. I know you hold these priests in high regard, but I beg you to consider their motives. Your lord is in danger. And I have a ship. You will please address me as Mariko-sama. I mean, she ain't ready to hear that shit. And I understand, like, yeah, your world just got turned upside down. Well, they're going to try to kill that pirate as hard as they can. As God. Cursed heretic doesn't even have the decency to ruin us slowly. <laughs> what? Let this be my burden, father. Holy shit, one of them knows about all this. Yep. Fuck. Like. Scream, scream, yes. No! This is not a good thing. I was born to be a man. I was born to be a man. I was born to be a man. I didn't even think about that part where he was because I yeah the, he said yeah you're gonna stay in my quarters it's like oh, shit um, yeah you knew that was coming pretty fast as soon as uh, Toronaga said anything about um you know the the base and uh, yeah as soon as he let that out of the bag to the the priest you knew what was coming and uh, he was smart enough Toronaga was. To realize what was coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, so basically, he protected that guy. He protected Blackthorn. 
and expected. You know, so he was he was ready for it. But man, that's it's bold. The super interesting part about that whole thing was Blackthorn got up and went like you know protected Toronaga. You know, like you didn't need to. <laughs> Toronaga had it under control. But, you know, he took a shot to the wrist and you saw what she did. You saw what the assassin did. She didn't start swiping at Toronaga. She started swiping at Blackthorn. He was the target, obviously. And I think, you know, I don't think Blackthorn realized it until maybe in that moment. He might not still, but he will shortly. That was something, you know, Mar Mariko. Mariko? Mariko. I said Mariko. <laughs> Marco will under will uh, explain it shortly, but like, yeah, he's he's, I, like, what's the plan now? Because you know, I'm assuming most of that's true. The base is certainly true, but you know, the rest of his story was complete horseshit. He's he's not there by the, you know, the orders of the Queen of fucking England. He's not there, uh, you know, to you know hand out in all of branches everywhere you know, like that's that's bullshit he's a fucking pirate he, we've seen he is and he was there to you know rape and plunder i guess you know like essentially but you know he he was making it sound like the plan was to take over japan like i i, I think they were just very very underinformed about you know what japan was you know, and obviously, you know, it's a much, much older civilization <laughs> than anywhere else. And, you know, by older, I mean more plentiful, frankly. You know, there's lots of people in that small amount of land, you know. So, you know, you're not taking over shit, but you might have just won the trust of Tornaga, which is huge, I think, going forward. Granted, Toronaga is not in the best spot, so it might be the worst ally to make. <laughs> we'll see where it goes from here. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comments. Let me know what you thought of that one. We'll jump into number three next week as we catch up, because I think uh, the, the series is wrapping up, or season one is wrapping up, around this time. I'm not sure, but we'll get there. We'll get there slowly. Um, one, one a week, because I want to savor this. Because it's damn good. It's really interesting. And they clearly did an amazingly beautiful job on, frankly, everything. So, pretty badass. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Talk to you next time.